Hello again, Internet. This is my laser cutter, which died about eight months ago. The reason it died is because the controller unit, uh, was, it's a Chinese unit, which is, in theory, a really nice unit, except it's poorly made. And I didn't want to buy another one because, well, I know two other people that have had the exact same failure on from the same brand but different models, so I don't trust the brand at all anymore. Um, so what I did is I transitioned over to Marlin and made a custom control panel just for, this is just basic diagnostic for the most part. I can, I control, can turn lights on and off and move around and all that. Uh, but uh, for moving around, I actually use this. This is a custom made keypad and it controls the movements. And the way it does that is it acts, it connects to a second serial port and the main board. So it just acts like a second computer plugged in. And speaking of that, here is the controls. So in here I've got a uh, an Big Tree Tech Octopus board with a pair of 5160s driving the X and Y axes. Then I've got four 2209s driving the Z axis. Down here I've got a Teensy 2.0. All that's doing is it's taking the signal for the laser that's at 3.3 volts and it's bumping it up to 5 volts for that power supply. Then I also have this. This is a um, Raspberry Pi Pico. And what that is doing is it's reading my end stops and translating them to something that Marlin can understand because Marlin doesn't support my end stops. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's all running. It doesn't engrave anymore because it's got Marlin. So that's the downside, but it didn't engrave much anyway. It, it still does line engraving, vector engraving fine, but rasters, it won't do anymore. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you've got any questions, if you're thinking about doing a tr transition like this yourself, I, uh, I, I can't necessarily recommend it because you will lose raster. But on the other hand, it should be a lot more reliable. Um, so that's what I've got. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.